To obtain the RV inflow view from the parasternal long axis view, you simply want to lift the tail of your probe to point down. And when you're pointing towards the right ventricle, you will have right ventricle at the top, tricuspid valve in the middle, and right atrium at the bottom. It's called the RV inflow view because you're seeing blood coming in to the right atrium, through the tricuspid valve, and into the right ventricle. This view also gives you good alignment for your color Doppler. Most patients will have at least trivial tricuspid regurgitation. And it's also a good idea to put your continuous wave Doppler through whatever jet you can see. Even if the patient doesn't have significant tricuspid regurgitation, still evidence that you have looked. Even though this patient does not have significant tricuspid regurgitation or any evidence of elevated pulmonary pressures, nevertheless, I'm putting my scale at around three meters per second so that I would capture any high velocities of tricuspid regurgitation if there were any. And I'm making sure to move my baseline to the top of my scale because it's regurgitation and from this view, that means it's going away from me back into the right atrium. So I want to make sure my baseline is up here and I can capture any blood that's moving this way. <laughs>